Alright everyone, welcome back to another um, live sorting slash chat stream with Brick by Brick, as you can tell because it says it right over there. With this nice Alright, can you uh can you can everyone see the stream now? Can you see the stream? Uh I'm trying. That uh seems to have disappeared. Might not appear yet. Alright, anyways. Uh, Let's see, in the chat we have Brick by Brick and Brick Clicker. I'm not sure who is still here. It says zero people are currently watching. So that's always encouraging. Yeah, I can't find it. Um, Did you start it? Yeah. It's public. This is waiting. Waiting. Okay, that must mean... Okay, All right now we've been live for five seconds. It says... Okay. Um, YouTube. Oh yeah, yeah. Now it's there. It's there. there. Oh look, that's fancy on the side. Yeah, yeah. All right, and also like, I'll stick my hand right here. You can see it's like two cameras too. All right, All right there we go. No, I can't. Well, it'll it'll be delayed. The people in the chat will know what I'm talking about because they are watching it as soon as it happens. But you have to wait. Anyways, the Brickinazer is here as well as Lake Holmes. Welcome both of you to the to the stream. It's really nice. Um, anyways, just something. This is coming up in a hall. No, that's not the problem. Well, there's, there's there's something that's the problem. You gotta figure it out. Alright, stream is the stream must go on, and we are back. Hello, everyone. Sorry about that. Now, there should not be any buffering. Wait, now we're offline again. Okay, what, wait, what's happening? Okay. Now there should not be any buffering. Should be all smooth sailing from here, I think. Um, let's see. I'll wait until my hand comes out and see if it moves smoothly. Oh, it's moving. Okay. Yeah. So hopefully this is all going good for you all, and we're going good. Okay, so now let's start with the things. Okay, so let's um, see that this is um, that's what I'll be taking apart today. It's this old building. It's gotten being removed from my city because of new things and stuff. So. That is why. Alright, anyways, another thing I got from the hall actually is these bricks right here. I got these pieces from the uh, hall. These what kind of pieces are those? These are giant slopes. The giant? Oh, like the DeLorean hood slopes? The DeLorean hood slopes also. Well, not the set DeLorean, but the idea is one. Yeah, but like, you know. Um, they also long. can be used as um, train crossings. Train crossings, which is why I bought them. I actually bought 24 of them. These are just the ones I have left over. Um, so, yeah. Alright. It says we have three people watching. And, um, I'm probably one of those people. Brick Clicker is back, so it should be Brick Clicker and the Brickinazer. Thank you all so much for being here. Uh, again, I appreciate you sticking with me through my um, hardships of video output troubles. Anyways, um, I gotta get to work taking some stuff in apart. Alright, so uh, first floor is this one right here. So, ultimate. Yeah? A very important uh, observation. I just watched the back part of the stream. And your audio sounds fine. They hear you fine. It's just me who hears you. Okay, that's awesome. Oh, that's great. It must be because... Wait, I think I know why. I think you must be listening through one of the webcam audios. Because oh. you can only use one microphone at once. So the good microphone is going to the stream. Um, exactly. That's really it. Okay, so we got some tiles here. Probably... The way I have the uh, parts is that um, the parts set up is that I have to uh, I have to stand up a lot to uh, 
start sorting once they start taking apart things. So that'll be a little frustrating, but that'll be fine. Um, there's only so much space, so I can't have a big table and have the parts close to me. It's a trade-off, but that's alright. Alright. Thought you were, thought, you, thought I was what, uh, leaving? Uh, nope. Uh, I had some problems. I was uh, trying to use too many um, frames per second. I was trying to output the video at um, 30 frames per second when I guess um, either my computer can't handle it or just uh, it's just too much data and it's not really even necessary. So I'm going to be streaming at uh, 10 frames per second and it should be fine. I mean, it's not like the quality needs to be pristine, amazing as like as much as a, um, a regular stream would be. I mean, a regular video would be. Um, anyways, the streaming service that I'm using for this stream is OBS Studios. It's um. Yeah, I gotta try using OBS at some point because it's recently kinda, it's kind of complicated. I don't know if you've uh, been to any of my recent streams, but like. Hangouts just like completely just dies after like a half an hour. That's annoying. Yeah. <laughs> All right. It's uh not fun. It like crashes. Okay, the stream yeah, out. but I'm leaving it to you, and I uh, can spread it better, mate. All right. Yeah, it's um. It can be complicated. You need um. Oh, you need a webcam, of course, which I have. It's, it's pretty cool. Um, you get to do cool stuff with it, and I hope that it makes the stream enjoyable, more enjoyable to watch. I have that like, little thing going in the corner where it says um, uh, my Twitter and Instagram usernames, as well as um, Ultimate Bricks live stream. Thanks for watching. Uh, um, I think that's cool. What did you do with um, I think he's talking to Brick Clicker, not to me. Um, anyways, have that in the corner, and then uh, the with Brick by Brick should be. Uh, that seems like a um, cool thing to maybe. Um, when the uh, when the stream has a uh, special guest star, it'll be <laughs> shown like that. That'll work out well because I think that looks kind of cool. It's actually not bad quality. Your icon isn't really bad quality in that corner. Um, yeah, actually. Oh, we're only going at um 480p though. Let me see. Only 480p unacceptable. Yeah, no, let me see. Um, how will kind of change that? It's possible. I'd have to stop streaming again to be able to change it, but um, I wonder if I can't do it with um. With that, maybe. Uh, maybe, maybe a, maybe with the 10 frames per second I can't, but that's fine I guess, I mean as long as you're able to, to watch it, alright, I'm saying I'm not making it on my alright, I guess they're talking about some sort of project, um, thing, anyways, I wanted to say that, uh, I think I've been going to be making some, um, better videos starting soon. Well, I've already made them, but they'll be released soon. Um, uh, Milano Polybag review coming out. I did that too. We should release it on exactly the same day at the exact same time. What do you mean? Exact same time. What? what? The Milano Polybag review. When should I release it? What? When should I release it? 
I don't know. You tell me, and I'll release mine the same day. Um. Yes, yes, I would like to know what's going on. It's a little confusing here. Uh, all right. Uh, I don't know what time. I haven't scheduled it yet. But well, it no, I haven't even uploaded it. But... I haven't scheduled mine yet. But it'll basically because I have like. Basically, what's happening for my videos is um. I'm having. You don't need to worry, but just because I haven't scheduled it yet, there's gonna be um. I'm having one video a day at 5 p.m. every day. So, 5 p.m. Eastern Time. So, whatever that is, whatever that time is uh, for you. Anyways, that's when the videos come out. Um, and so, right now I just don't know when the, uh, when the next video is needed to come out. Because I have them scheduled up to a certain date, and so I don't know when I need the next one to come out. But when I have that time, that's when I'll, um, that's when it'll go. And they also have the, uh, How far ahead of schedule are you? You know? Any idea? Well, I have, I think I have a video schedule, video scheduled up to, like, tomorrow, or maybe today, and then I have a bunch of, like, maybe ten, no, not ten, um, maybe, like, four videos made that haven't been scheduled yet. I have like a thousand videos that uh, like I need to do all my editing and everything too, and then obviously some that don't need to be edited at all, that are just you know okay, there. Yeah, so I have one for tonight, and then six more after that that I'll schedule that I haven't gotten around to scheduling yet. But I'm trying to make my videos um higher quality, so I'll probably be able to start making less of them. Um, spend uh, more time editing and filming. And so... No, no, I'm happy with some of the stuff that I've been making. Some of the videos. So the Milano review, I think, is good. He's cheating, subs. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I guess Brickney. Yeah. So Brickney says he's cheating subs. Think about 2K in one year. Type in Brick Clicker on YouTube, and people vids come up, showing him out, and he comments on small YouTuber channels. I think would be less Do you turn the favor and then what else? Yeah, yeah. That's um. I don't know. I found that, um, I've never really asked anyone to subscribe. I feel like, I don't know, I think that's kind of like the wrong way. However, I'm not against, um, I've commented on other people's videos. Just, they kind of like almost trying to be noticed, but just saying, just like saying something like, oh, good video, or just like actually a productive comment. And a lot of times they might actually um, actually come back and check out my channel. Like you don't need to, you really don't need to be as um, uh, stuff because doesn't Brick Clicker only have like twenty five thousand views or something? Yes, yeah, Brick Clicker did to me too. Um, anyways, I think that um, but with that you really get what you put out, kind of. I mean, like, if he's not actually, like, with those people, they're really just, like, blank subscribers for him. Like, no one, none of those people are even watching his videos, so, I mean, if he needs that, that's not gonna, like, try to be all upset and try to, like, say, oh, he's doing it the wrong way or something like that, because, I mean, I don't really, I try not to have, like, a problem with people, get people upset or anything, but, I mean... He's not, it doesn't really have too many views from it. I mean, he has like 2,000 subscribers and 30,000 views. It's not really huh. like... I'm like the opposite. I have like... Right, because there's different and... types There's different types of um, empty views and empty subscribers. Because like there's the kind of views where 
you do like one like viral video. Yeah. Um, which is kind of like what you. Oh, uh, it's my. Yeah. You have the viral, uh, you know, like the popular music video. And then there's, there's also the problem where everyone who uh, subscribed for that one video doesn't watch any of the other ones, you know? Right, because no like, actually, because none of those people really care about. Yeah. Watching your showcases or reviews or anything. I mean, you have a like, some. You have a, probably a certain amount yeah. of actually like subscribers that care about your other videos, but. Yeah. Definitely it's not like, as much as your full total. Uh, I've got right now what 400, 500 subscribers and um, almost sixty thousand views. So. I don't, know, I don't think too many people. I don't know. I don't really have any videos that. I think are like empty. Kind of views. I think one of them like that. Chevy Batmobile one. So like just like a copied one that got like two thousand kind of like views don't really matter too much. I mean, those, those, those views aren't people watching like my video. Those are people watching some other person's video just on my channel, kind of. Yeah. Yeah, like no one watching, probably out of the 2,000 people who watch that video, no one even uh, cared that it was on my channel. People that just are looking for it, they found it on a channel. You know what I mean? Anyways, Brook Clicker is back. Uh, and now. I've got to move some stuff before I can de access these drawers. And here we go. My tile drawers so I can. Both these tiles. Alright, and um, what do you think of the the what? I can't handle the suspense. What do you think of the the what? Um, you mean about the you mean about like. Asking for subscribers? You mean that? The what? I That's why you're not growing. But what, brick clicker? Like, oh, come on, I can't, I can't do this anymore. Um, The Y H. Y H. That means. Uh, give me a second. Y H. Y H. Y H means YouTube. Y H means YouTube. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. That's the first. Uh, How? The first search result. Yeah, but Y H is Y T. I thought YouTube was Y T. No, the first thing is up is that Y H is a channel on YouTube. Like, okay. But why? Okay. Why does Y H mean? I don't know, I don't know. the answer, but um, I'll ask you anyway. Seven thousand subscribers. Who does? I don't know, YH, whoever that is. Oh, YH is a YouTube channel? Yeah. It's also an interjection used in text messages and other digital communications, and it means, yeah, that's probably what you're going for. Oh. Oh, yeah. But we're going to just say, oh, oh. Oh. I'm sorry, I am totally not a. Um. Uh, what is it called? I'm like, into shortening things. Ooh. I'm pretty bad at that. I'm um, sorry. Anyways, uh, about what he said. Um, well, I was kind of talking about. I think it was when he left. But I mean, I don't really have too much of a problem with people asking for subscribers. 
However, I have found myself not really that likely to subscribe to them. So a lot of people have actually came by to my channel recently and been like, oh, like, great video, subscribe or something, subscribe to me, and then, like, I guess, I don't know, like, I've kind of felt my, I haven't really been deleting the comments, but just really just ignoring enjoy. them. If they appear in the spam folder, I'm now and they kind of like deleting them. Because, I don't know, most of them are from, sometimes people, like, you know, the people that don't even, like, display their subscriber account. Like, a lot of, like, channels that, I don't know, like, that comment doesn't really help. I don't think it really even, doesn't really look good in the comment section. I don't know if it was, like, if it's, like, a comment, if someone's, like, um, I don't know. Just some of them seem fake, some of them seem uh, real, some of them just seem like... Just kind of like, they spent about three seconds on my video, but I don't know, I, I don't know, maybe, I'm not really deleting that often, but, I don't know, it's not something that I would do, I'm not doing it. I have commented on you know, videos before, hoping that the person would check out my channel or whatever, but never like, asking like that. I don't know, but... I mean, you've seen, like, right now, like, yeah, you stopped. Which, because it doesn't really gain you anything. I mean, it gains you, like, a few, like, maybe if you feel good about, oh, I have a bunch of subscribers or something, but then you don't really get any views, so. It's not really like it gets you too much, so. That's why I don't really, like, get mad at anyone for doing it, because it's not like they're even getting anything out of it. Really because, just because of how, um, how it's just really just kind of like empty. It's just like a number. But that number doesn't really mean too much, I guess. Or, um, I don't know, I guess in the end I don't really have a problem with anyone doing it. But it's just definitely not something that I'm going to do. Because I don't think... It's, because I know that some people get mad about it, and it's not, I don't think it's worth, like, getting people mad at me. Especially because it doesn't even really get you any subscriber. I mean, it doesn't really even get you any views or anyone um, talking about you, really. Like, it's just, I um, hope that was enough of an answer. <laughs> yeah, I've yeah, noticed it hasn't gotten that many views. Right, oh, TM Bricks Studios is here. Welcome, welcome to the stream, TM Bricks. You've, uh, is that, is TM, you're, this, you're probably the same TM Bricks. Just you change your name to TM Bricks Studios, right? Yeah, yeah, the camera. Remember, you always, you're into photography, so your, your sig fig is always holding a camera. You did some pretty cool uh, camera mock videos. You did one of those a while ago, I think. What do you want? So what are you doing? Do you want anything? So you're interrupting the stream for nothing. Alright, sorry about that. The question was that, like, did you mute the stream or? Yeah, like... I just muted the stream. Okay. Someone was trying That's to get my attention for absolutely no reason at all. Which is annoying. Um, anyways. So now, how many series 17 do you have? What did you say? How many series 17 do you have? Um, I have all of them, but no, no repeats. Exactly in the same amount that I have. What's your favorite? No, you have what? My favorite? Um, I'll, I'll give you my top five. It's tough to pick between the five. Rocket Boy, Hot Dog Guy, Yuppie, um, Retro Space Guy, and uh, the French Dude. Right, my favorites are the Gourmet Chef, the Hot Dog Guy, um, Hot Dog Vendor, which is the Hot Dog Guy, um, probably Rocket Boy, uh, French Guy, and Surfer. 
I never, I never had the other surfers, so I understand that like, it's kind of like, it seems like a repeat, but for me, nah, for me, it's no, nah, like, I don't have any problems with the surfer. I don't think he's like a repeat or anything. Like, yeah, I don't really understand that uh, plane. No, I, he's just not my favorite. He's kind of average. Oh wait, TM Brick Studio. Oh, oh, I think I was confusing it with someone else. Oh, you're the one that flipped. Noise. Sorry about that. Microphone fell out. Oh, oh, you're the TM Bricks. Your, um... Your profile picture used to be the, like, half of your actual face and half of your sync fig, both holding a camera. Oh, that's right. Oh, yeah, you're... That's right. Sorry, I'm not. I'm not sure who I was going. Is that right? Wait, is that one of them? Is that right? Is that right? The um. Is that what your picture used to be? I think it is. All right. So when you um. When you reply, I'll know. Sorry, sorry about that. Yeah, I'm not sure who I was mixing up with. Okay. Anyways, yeah. Thanks, you said you were watching videos. Yeah, I've definitely been, um, I think I've been putting in more effort towards, um, and Lego Bagel is here. Is that? Is Lego Bagel Maddox? You know? Do you know? Huh? Is Lego Bagel Maddox Blake? I have no idea. Never mind. I feel bad now if I just assumed if, if it wasn't like if that isn't you, but. People no, change their names, no, yes, Melvin. No, it's not. Lego Bagel has almost 6,000 subscribers. It's not Maddox. Alright, welcome, Lego Bagel. Thank you for joining. It's an honor now, now knowing how how popular you are. Cause that was um he had been uh, fruit bagel. Yeah, I think I remember. Uh, I think I remember Lego Bagel. I don't know who Maddox is, but uh... Maddox Blake, Fruit Bagel ninety nine. Oh, Fruit Bagel. Yeah. The... I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> I'm subscribed to Lego Bagel. Alright, I'm subscribing to Lego Bagel right now, because... You got some awesome thumbnails. By the way. He does. That's, um... I'm jealous. No, I'm not. I don't think he's here. But... Still looks... Looks really good. Um... TM Brick says, yep, that's me. Alright, awesome. I'm not sure who I was confusing you with. I think, I think it was. I'm like, well, uh, alright, yeah. There, well, there, well, there was someone called Fruit Bagel, and then with like Brick Bagel. So I wasn't sure if he changed his name, but that's awesome. All right, sorry about that. <laughs> um, I just hadn't been paying attention, so I wasn't sure if he had changed his name, but. Looks like you got a really cool um, channel with that stuff. Um, I've been trying to create some uh, better thumbnails. I actually think I created a cool one um, recently. That's one thing I have to do. I have to actually, you know, create more thumbnails. Yeah. Usually I just take a screenshot from the video. Yeah. Some way. Oh, here's one real one. I'll show off, I'm just so excited about this one. I think I did a good job on it. Um, they can't see this, can they? What I'm currently saying? No. No, they can't see. Okay. No one can see your screen, or my screen, or anything. But. Um, oh, I see Milano. Yeah, it's right there. Uh, but this is the one that I'm happy with. Well, 
Whoa, hard to do that. All right, there we go. So see, so we're here. This is the one that um. Yeah. Yes. I I really like your um the new profile picture. Uh, it's kind of small. I can only see it in the corner, but it looks like a camera, like a camera, like an like an not like an actual image, but like kind of like a computer drawing. And it says TM Bricks Films or something, TM Bricks Studio on the bottom. It looks really good. Okay, anyways, this is my latest thumbnail for um, the video. It hasn't come out yet. It's going to be the Ghostbusters um, um, car, Ecto 1. So you have both ideas review. Yeah, well, technically, I have every single Ghostbusters set ever made. You should get every single Back to the Future set ever made. No, I shouldn't, because that set goes for like 90. Oh. I saw it on Craigslist once for like 80 bucks. It was like a, Natick. Uh, I purchased it, that was someone, uh, someone was selling it for like 110 sealed or something. If it was you, I don't know. I don't, I don't even like it that much. I don't think they'd even did a good job on the DeLorean. I know. They didn't. I just want the printed pieces. I'll probably break link them at some point and we'll build another, a better DeLorean. Yeah. Also, if I wanted the minifigures, I already got the Dimensions packs, and those minifigures I think are better. Yeah. Marty isn't the better one. Or isn't that That's better. the only reason why I didn't. But, um, Doc Brown is too. Is okay, anyways, this is um, new thumbnail. The stuff I did with it is like, it kind of obvious. It's not like that, I'm reading, but the, um, how the, um, Review part kind of goes under the um, under the the stuff, which uh, I don't know. It it took a couple minutes extra out of my day, so I'm proud of it. <laughs> Found one that's open and complete for sixty bucks with ten dollars shipping. Best offer accepted. Seventy. All right. So, yeah. Which is ten less than what I got the after one for. And, in my opinion, the Ecto-1 is a better build. You need 10 more. I'm not sure I like... I'm not sure I like the, um... Ecto-1. Yeah, probably not more than the DeLorean movie and stuff, but... As far as the set goes, I think the Ecto-1 looks more like the Ecto-1 than the Back to the Future uh, set. Looks like Definitely agree. But Back to the Future, so... I like the back half, just the front looks weird. Yeah, they should have used that dish piece. I mean, it's not that dish piece, but that, that big slope. They should, yeah, they should have just put a radar dish in the front, you know? Or looked a whole lot more like a DeLorean. It's yeah. one of those big 8x8 eight eight radar dishes. <laughs> yeah. Well, it was nice. No, it wasn't. Um, anyways, but. They should have used that big slope piece, but the reason they didn't is because they wanted to do that thing we can build it from all three movies. Yeah. Which... You wouldn't have been able to put the, um, the uh, thing on the front from Back to the Future 3 if you had a... They could offered a different solution for the third one and then left it with the slope for the first two, but you know... Right. I guess that would have also. Right. Easy Bricks is here. Like the, the, the stream. What well, was on the screen right now? It's just or was on the screen. Was the um, thumbnail for the Ghostbusters um, Ecto One review. Like I just the California license plate for three ninety nine with three fifty shipping. Wow. Honestly, not a bad deal. Or I think that one's. The cheap one of the three. I'm pretty sure that the out of time license plate on like Breaklink sells for like ten bucks. Really? Wow. Yeah. The Ecto One license plate isn't worth much. I don't think. It's, it's in multiple sets. It comes in all three Ghostbusters sets. All three? Yeah, it comes in the firehouse. What do they do with it in the firehouse? It's sitting in the, it's like on the, it's in the garage area next to like a, um, next to a, like a toolkit. So it's almost like, there's like a spare, which doesn't really make any sense, but I think they just want yeah. to include it. It's kind of a, it's kind of a 
weird reason, but I'll take it. It's, it's an awesome, it's an awesome print. You know what sets are really expensive? What? What? Cars 2 2012 set. What is it? The 2012 Cars 2 sets. Oh really? Yeah. Is it just too good buying all those? Yeah. Everyone? Yeah, I got most of the 2012 ones but didn't buy any of the 2012 ones except for one. Anybody who so has, I've been anybody has a more. sealed one that just you doesn't have now they're like knowing that he's gonna collect them all that everyone like makes them all super expensive. <laughs> knowing that he'll buy them. I don't think that's how it works. No I remember looking at one of them like a couple of years ago and it was still just expensive. Well, like the one with the... Um, it only gets more expensive. I know but like it was just about as expensive as it is today. The, and like, I don't care if they're sealed or whatever, as long as they're in decent condition. Just because otherwise it's way too expensive. But, um, you know, I bought Jeff Corvette recently. Cause, Who? You know, Jeff Corvette. Like, one of the small individual car sets that has just an exclusive character. I never saw cars, too. Yeah. Basically, Jeff Gordon accepts cars. I only really saw like half of Cars 1. Right. I, bought, I, see, I bought two junior sets, my first two junior sets, within like a week of each other, so. So I bought the Cars 3 Smokey's Garage. So, hey, this is something I was going to ask you. Um, the Lego store, last, um, like when I bought the Temple of Air Jitsu, yeah. they gave me like a 20% off um, coupon thing for like the weekend of May 18th. So I went and that's where I got most of my Series 17 minifigures and um, the Smokey's Garage set for all 20% off. Just this. That's lucky. Yeah. How'd you get so that? I was going to ask if they did anything in your area like that. Uh, no, well, I've never... You... Well, how much was it? Like, what, what, what do you mean? Did, what did the thing look like? It was like a, it was like a card. Like, about the size of an envelope-ish. And it just said on it, like, you're invited to some special friends and family VIP event, or whatever. That's lucky. Yeah. No, no, like, well, no, we got anything. I got three types of minifigures when you off, so that's cool. Because I never want to. Guess I'm not special. Um, and I also, the reason why I bought Smoke Garage there was because, you know, if I spent like $5 more, I would have gotten Milano, so. Oh, that's why you have Figured I'd. I yeah. bought a. I would have bought a big box of. Did you see that haul? Yeah, yeah, I did. That's why I got them on. And I got that Han Solo. That was good. What Han Solo? Yeah, uh, Han Solo Hawk. Where'd you get that? It was left over from May the 4th. And you gave it to me. This year's May the 4th? Yeah, this year's May the 4th. The Han Solo Hawk. It was from May the 4th, 2013. But it was part of like... But a they had it this year? It was part of like a minifigure speed build special event. Ah. So they had some left over. That's weird. I have that figure, but like... Not from... I don't know, I don't know. I'm just confused by your story. I saw his comment when he read it. I mean, when he posted it. But... I forget Have you seen any of the new Summer 2017 sets around anywhere? What'd you say? Have you seen any of the new Summer 2017 sets around anywhere? Yeah, Walmart. The Walmart I was just at. I was at two Walmarts today. Yeah, I've seen a couple of them. I saw like the new yeah. Batman one. Oh, yes. Some of the new Star Wars ones, saw that like new Star Wars first order transporter. 
I don't think I the new first order fan support. Oh, the little battle pack. Yeah. Yeah. I haven't. I've seen the larger new Star Wars sets and the bounty hunter battle pack. Yeah, I saw that too. But um, uh, at Toys R Us they had all the new stuff. Um, but they. Their price on Samurai X Cave Chaos is still a hundred and forty dollars in store. That's ridiculous. I just need that set to go on sale so that I can finish my day of the departed collection. And I was gonna try and buy that what uh, the twenty percent off thing at the Lego store, but I realized that I can't because they don't sell them in stores. They don't sell retail exclusives in stores anymore. In Lego stores, at least. They only sell them online. Which is annoying. Oh. It's kind of weird. That's the first time I've run into the issue, though, because they started with that way of, of sets. Doing the whole no retail exclusive in store. I just hope they pull a few sticks and have them discounted to like 80 bucks. What is it? The city of sticks. What? The city of sticks? Yeah, that was like the $100 set from the Ghosts Wave. It's Toys R Us exclusive. Um, honestly, probably. But, oh, um. Probably. They had it on sale for like $70 for like two months. They still sell it. It's at $104.99 now. They do still sell it. Why is the chat so quiet? Oh, the chat, yeah. What? I don't know. I don't know why the chat's uh -oh. quiet. Um. Yeah, City Sticks is cool and all, but like... The minifigures aren't uh... Yeah, only two people watching. I guess you're the only one watching. So. Oh, well, I'm in the chat too, so I'm probably the second person. What'd you say? I'm all watching, so I'm assuming that I'm the second person. Yeah, yeah. I'm watching on the, uh... There's six people watching. Wait, what? I don't think he's, uh, right. I think he probably didn't, like, refresh the page or whatever. Did you see the, uh, the leaked Last Jedi pictures? No, I didn't. No. Well, they're where, where mediocre. Um, the three largest sets in the wave were leaked. Um, one of them is the first order star destroyer. The second largest is like an adat, but not an adat because it's like weird and looks like a gorilla. And then okay. the third one is some resistance bomber thing. And also, it's ATAT, by the way. Just, just to let you know. No, it's an adat. No, it's not. It's an ATST and ATST. Yes. Alright. It's pronounced ADA in Star Wars Force Commander and Star Wars Galactic Battlegrounds. They're also called ATATs briefly in Star Wars Rogue Squadron. However, in Star Wars Battlefront Renegade Squadron, it's pronounced ATAT. Hmm. Huh. Nerdist proof Star Wars. Adat is officially pronounced Adat. Someone has determined that it's Adat. Who determined that? Because it's not. I don't know. There's an official way of pronouncing it. It's not ATAT. They say ATAT. -A -T. Lucasfilm PR. Yeah, back in 2010, the proper way of saying it as the proper way of saying it as how it's spelled at at. Yeah, but it's an acronym. It seems for like all-terrain armor No, it's at -at. It's not a word. It's, it's at -at. It's an acronym, not a word. Okay, what do you say, TM Brick Studios? If you're there, either say E-T, E-T. 
or at at. It is an all-terrain armored transport. No, it's still like it's at at. It's just it's the official way to say it according to Lucasfilm War. You don't call TIE fighters TIE fighters. Do you? No, I guess not. However... And TIE is an acronym for Twin Ion Engine. Right, however you don't call ATSTs at... No, well, you could. You don't call ATTEs at T's. You know, could. Fair point, you could. How do you pronounce at, at time.com? This would be the uh, true determiner. Call the ATATs at act. The ones from Rogue One. An email blast to Lucasfilm's public relations department provided the definitive verdict. The official pronunciation for at at is the phonetic one, as in rhymes with hat hat. The official pronunciation. What do you want, though? Alright, I've already muted it. What do you want? Yeah, I guess. Oh, I'll do that. I have it in my plans at some point to do it, alright? Yes, I saw you get orbital striked when you were up there. You orbital striked, and then when you jumped up there, then it killed you. Huh. That, that's not the part of it. Okay, it's the, the funny voice thing. I don't know what happened. You must think it's funny. Okay. Listen to what this guy says. Bombers can't help us unless we protect the upper. The bombers can't help us unless we protect the uplink. The what do you think he said? Yeah. What? What's so funny about that? Now put the audio. Okay, good. Hello, when I'm back. Again. Oh, you're back. Alright, I'm okay. back. Welcome back. So there's two people watching still, which is awesome news for people who like watching things. Um, it's that. Right. Which means I guess there's only one person watching. Anyway, so that's fine. So fine. Wait. One person watching in total. Uh, one of me. Okay. 
So including the mental Have you got any more resets? There's um stay puffed. Um What? There's stay puffed. Um what? Slimer Vinkman Abby. What are we answering? Those are the Ghostbusters ones. So there's four Ghostbusters Dimensions packs, right? Yes. Plus then three Ghostbusters sets. Meet them at seven. Okay. Alright. So I'll definitely have to do some sort of collection review for those. Yeah. Having multiple. Have you gotten any of the Star Wars buildable figures before? What did you say? Have you gotten any of the Star Wars buildable figures before? No, I don't. I don't really have an interest in those. I mean, see, I didn't either. But then I saw them on clearance for five bucks, so I bought two of them. I would get them if I saw them for five dollars. I saw them for thirteen dollars. They had. At Walmart, they had like a section in the Lego aisle where they had, um, like the, uh, they had K2SO, the Death Troopers, and, um, Baze Malibus for five bucks each. How many Death Troopers did they have? What? Well, they had like three Death Troopers. You should have got all three of them and built like a Death Trooper display and like. I considered it, but instead I got three K2SOs. Why three K two S O's? Why three K two S O's? Well, I got one for myself. One I'm gonna give to my friend for his birthday because it's in like a week. See Star Wars. And then. And then you get to try. And to sell then one. um, what? And you can't try to sell one. Yeah. And I might go back at some point. All right. I wish there was better clearance at my Walmart. No, but in the um, regular clearance section, like not the Lego specific clearance section, they had like probably 30 or 40 Jyn Ursos and they were still at $13. Yeah. They were in the Battle of Taco Donna for 34 They also had the Star Scavenger from the Freemaker Adventures yeah. for um, 25 well, they, uh, they made it for like 35 where I was. Stupid. They had um, the Samurai VXL, which was the reason I went, because Brickseek said they had them for $25, and they did. So yeah, they 25% off of random mills. That was 40 at my Walmart. So. The Samurai VXL? Yeah. And then the, uh, the second Walmart I went to has literally, I think, the smallest Lego section in the world. <laughs> Probably set a world record for the smallest Lego section in the store. How big is it? Uh, I think like they had like twenty different sets. Uh, they were all from 2017. There was a friend section, friend slash Disney princess section. Though that those kind of like the same size, but the smallest like regular Lego section like. Seriously, it was like, See, I, uh, they only had 2017 sets. I really would like to know what my Walmart is doing with all their Cars 3 sets, because the last time I went, they had the Samurai VXL for 35 and I passed on it that time, um, because they had a bunch and I figured they'd go cheaper, and they did. I bought the First Order, or not the First Order, the Imperial Hover Tank for my brother's birthday. But um, they had like no cars three sets. I spent like twenty minutes looking because I wanted to get one of the cars three sets. And um, this time when I went to get this one, like they had the Smokey's Garage one with the one I had, but they had one, only one of this set, and it was like the box was completely smashed. Maybe some Brooklyn. So I really like how they keep them. What? No, they didn't even have like a space on the shelf for them. I don't even have prices, tags or anything, showing where they would be. Like, they had one underneath these garage set that was, but they didn't have any other. I don't know. Maybe they just popped there. Any, uh, 
hard to reach this. Me? Yes. I don't have any, no. Don't really. No, no, like, you're, you're Walmart. And not, oh, technically oh, yeah. not you. But yeah, they had a couple of them. They did? Yeah, pretty sure. Huh. Anyways, I wonder if I head back if the clearance will get any better. At one point. I mean, eventually, hopefully, that would be. Well, the point is that it'll probably maybe end up selling all out before. Well, uh, I mean, I guess do they have like a large amount of stock? Not overly. Uh, well, then maybe not. Because most of the stuff that had been on clearance the first time sold. Because um, it had like a couple of. They have the weirdest. You know the brand new Seaplane Adventures creator set? Yeah. They had that on clearance. For how much? $25. So it's like barely on clearance, but like. Is it, was it on, however, here's the thing, is Walmart has, like, No, no, it was, it was clearance. It had, like, one of the yellow clearance tags on it. Uh, because Walmart has, like, four different ways of saying on sale, because there's, there's rollbacks, there's price reduced, there's clearance, there's, like, I don't know, there's, like, a few different ways. I got at least three different ways of saying it. It, it was clearance. That's, that's strange. You know, I saw like a saw like a big call recently. Someone got a ton of set up on my order deal. And a lot of them are like brand new ones. It also had like the new Minecraft waterfall whatever you know like the one with the building that's on a waterfall i don't pay attention to minecraft stuff but um, i can't tell the difference between what's new and old i don't pay much attention except now i have to look for sales because like i know of someone who wants them so cool yeah this one two three is here welcome to the stream thank you for joining this uh, live stream. Um, what I'm doing is taking things apart. As you can see, I'm not actually building anything. I'm sorting. Um, so, so that I'll have more. I needed to uh, take apart a building that I uh, was in my city. But when I got the Firehouse Headquarters, uh, didn't have any more space for it. Plus, it wasn't even that good, so decided to decided to ditch it. Minecraft. It's good to sort before build. Yeah, yeah, but this is just not. What I'm doing right now is sorting into, um, I'm sorting into drawers. Something that I'm taking apart. Um,
show them. Is there anything? Is there any of the, um, any of the new city sets interesting you? Really? Um, city, no, but the creator houses, kind of. Yeah, those are pretty good. Like, yeah, I might get some of those. But, um, like, I like the new jungle sub theme and all, but, like, I don't, I don't know if I really care enough to get any of them. Like, I, I like the ones that have the, like, I like the animals, like the leopard and the tiger and yeah, I like the big cats. They're pretty cool. I don't know if it's worth it for me to buy the uh, sets just to get those. The panther looks pretty cool. I hear the best. The one from the retail exclusive one. Like Toys R Us, whatever. I'll probably Which just pull out. Which oh, I had plan for Which animal currently searching after stuff is I'm waiting on that uh, Samurai X Cave Chaos. That's uh, probably number one on the list. Then Hands of Time and Cars 3. And then hopefully I'll have that all done in time for the Ninjago movie. That's the plan. Yeah, for me, I keep. Um, I mean, I always got these plates. I'm not really looking for more stuff to want to get, really. Because I need a decent amount of base plates and pick a brick cups just for my city. I have a ton of base plates that I have no use for because I don't know what to use them for. You could always give them to me. How would I? Mm. I would graciously accept your donation. Mm, I So I want to do something with them eventually. I just don't have the space or time at the moment yeah. to, you know, build a city. So there's that problem. Yeah, there's there's stuff you can do. It doesn't have to be a city. You could always build like a some sort of Ninjago. Uh, I don't know. You know, well, what I would probably be doing is building a Ninjago themed city. You know, like kind of. That kind of architecture. Something I've right. seen people do with um, excess base plates is like line a shelf with base plates. So like put the base plates under the sets on the shelf, so you can like attach the figures to that. I mean, could do that, but like my figure stand on my shelves well enough for the most part. Oh, this is something like you really, really want to. Get. Have them somewhere for so bothering you that they weren't being used. No, it's not bothering me that they're not being used, but like, I just have a bunch of them. You could always. But then again, that's kind of like, kind of a waste as far as like space goes, so it's not something that you'd want to do if you have a more ambitious plan. Is this all E Lego that you are sorting out? Is this all E Lego? I don't know what that means. Is is this all e. e Lego? E. Do you know what that means? What? All V Lego. This is this all the Oh, I guess. Um you, if that's what you meant then um this right here what you see on this um, table area um, is everything that I have to sort. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I don't have anything other than this. Um, it's just this. It's from a building that I had. I already said that. I think. I gotta sort out a couple of my. Yeah, yeah. You were boxes right. Kind of... You were right, brick, brick, brick. That's what he meant. Yeah. Um, but. Yeah, that's all. Yeah. Of course I was. I got a bunch. Now, I think a bunch of just these bricks, and I'll be going kind of quickly. And then after that, I'll be done. Um, so 
says we have four people watching right now. This is awesome. If you have any questions, uh, Lego related questions, feel free to put them in the uh, uh, side chat. Me and Brick by Brick will both try to answer the uh, any questions. Do you have any of the little Batman movie sets? Uh, I have two public bags. I have the um. I have that free Emmett. This one. Emmett. The Emmett bat car thing. <laughs> like, oh, I that. Bat car doesn't make. Any I have that. I have three of those, but I also have the. Uh, uh, I should have gotten me in this bad car. This one is the bad signal free one, as well as the. I only have the Joker training one and the Disco Batman and Series of Batman. Oh, and uh, as well as the Lego Batman, Batman. series. What'd you say? And what? Well, I only have the uh, Disco Batman, Tears of Batman, Polybag. The uh, Joker battle training and the entire series of minifigures. I have the Disco, Here's the Batman, the battle training, the free um, bat signal. Oh, two, and the dimension packs. I have two of those. Um, and I have the. Uh, I have six of the CMS. No wait. Four, sorry, four of the CMS. Um, the Eraser, Cherry Batman, um, Lobster Batman, and Glam Batman. Did you make the back card? No, that was um, that was free from Toys R Us. It was like a special event where you just go in. And um, build it, and you get to take it home for free. It's an event that they have it. Toys R Us is sometimes. It's kind of a weird thing. Like, what's a Emmett Bat car? Because it's it doesn't it never appeared. Of course, it never appeared in the movie. It never um, didn't appear in the Lego Movie. But it's because they made the um, a Emmett car rebuild one year. Comes with some nice pieces, even though I haven't taken it apart. It still works as kind of a I mean, and you can't beat the price, I guess. I mean, and they can pay you to take it. Yeah. That's how I felt about the Princess Leia one. I think. No one's paying me to take that, I'm not gonna go. No. Did you see that one? The Princess Leia. Free one, brick brick brick. What? Did you see the Princess Leia free build? Yeah, it was really good. Like, my favorite Toys R Us free build in the last 20 years. You liked it? No. <laughs> that was sarcasm. Yeah, it was the same day as Brick Fair, so I couldn't do I didn't go. Obviously. Because um, I wasn't. Um, I think it was like. Was it, I think it was like the next Saturday, too, maybe, but it wasn't really. I don't know. It's not really that worth I was at Brick Fair. You know where the building where Brick Fair was? Yeah. I was technically there the week before, so technically I was at Brick Fair, but I was a week early. At the, uh, what, the Trade Center? Yeah. Were you in the exact same space? Yes, the exact same space. Were you at a convention? Mm -hmm. Not quite a convention. Birthday party? <laughs> no, it was, a, it was a competition thing. What was it? What? Skills USA, it's like some vocational school association thing, whatever, competition, whatever, you know. Were you competing or observing? Yes, I was competing. Oh, cool. Did you win anything? Or, I mean, not anything, no. but like, what place no. did you come in? What? I, I don't know. That way I can track down your game. Okay. 
The moral of the story is uh, we it, it was through school and we basically just got to today's school and we stayed at a hotel for the weekend. So we watched Back to the Future in the hotel room. And you know the you know the we had to pirate it though because we didn't have the actual movie. So but uh, you know the uh, the scene at the beginning of the movie where the uh, the speaker kind of explodes. The thing? Which one? Like at the beginning of the movie, where like the Marty breaks the speaker thing yeah. and ducks. Yeah, we were um, we were watching it, and um, like the, the the volume was already rather loud. So they told me to turn down the volume because they knew that that was about to happen, right? Yeah, yeah. Like the other people in my hotel room, <laughs> but I just turned the volume up. It was great. Yeah. Was it like super loud to break your speakers? Ah, uh, almost. Oh, thank you, thank you for the um, me if you get pack openings. Yeah, I try to um, try to make those. Huh? I try to work on the editing and those make them good. Um, thank you for saying that. Um, I will um, going to do more. Well, I'm not gonna. I have the only ones uploaded right now. Are the ones that I have I have like a decent amount of them going back a few series, but um, I will do more when I get more. You know what I mean? Um, I can't really. So, oh, I do a pack opening every time I get a new, every time I get a um, collectible minifigure. So there's never a time where I don't do a pack opening, but I guess just the time is when we're like. Then again, and right now, I am pretty much broke. Like, I think I have, like, in cash, I think I only have, like, five dollars or something. So, uh, I money. have, like, I have, like, uh, ten dollars in cash. So can Way better. Me, then you give me one CMF. Because tax. Uh, I have ten dollars in cash, but then, like, 200 in paychecks in the last two weeks. So. Okay, so I'll need to do some, some earning before I can do some spending. It's the sad facts of life. No. Um, anyways, so not at the stage. How, how much money do you make from YouTube, Brick Brick Brick? If anything. Me? I've almost made a hundred dollars total, which means I almost get money. Cause they don't give, give you money until you know you actually have earned a hundred dollars. Like, not if you're with the network. They won't. What? Not if you're with the network. Huh? Um, I got I've got eighty cents so far. Nah. Eighty cents so far. I was actually paid. 80 cents. I've got. You got actually paid eighty cents. Yeah. Like, they sent you eighty cents through PayPal. Yeah. Really? Yeah. How? How? It's not. I'm not getting paid through YouTube. It's through, oh. It's How are you getting paid? Through um Social Blade Network. Oh. I've made eighty-four dollars and ninety-one cents. But that means you haven't gotten to like own any of it. Because yeah, pretty much. Because you you haven't gotten any, you don't get any of it until you get on it. Yeah. Fifteen dollars to go—that's about three or four months, probably. So I think, I think that month was actually cut in half. Um. Brickstar is live. Nobody, nobody watched that. No. Um. um but. But card three. I might need to leave. No, oh, come on. Is Brickstar really better than me? Yes, judging. I mean, card three. Come on. Well. It's storage. How exciting. 
Uh, Maybe you can go buy some parts for you and watch your channel. <laughs> no, I'm not. It's not worth it. Uh, getting built a dollar for 8,000 views. Huh? Getting about like uh, 80 cents for 8,000 views or a dollar for 10,000 views. Well, I've gotten like 8,000. Right. You have like copyrighted um. You have copyrighted views. Yeah. Which is why my uh, my Jake glitch video thing wasn't copyrighted. They didn't they didn't claim that in those dimensions. Who's he gonna pay? Okay. How much has your uh, best video made you? Like, uh, I'm not sure. Money wise. I don't know. Individual video. Go find out right now. What do you mean you can't? But I won't I won't know like actually because they send everything super delayed. So like on the fifteenth of this month it'll be paid for the April stuff. Well yeah, obviously. But so everything's like super I... delayed. And the YouTube stuff is just an estimate. Yeah, just just do it, go according to the YouTube estimate. But then the but then like the networking stuff, they they take it like a huge percentage off. Why'd you join the network? Because otherwise we won't be getting anything, you know. You mean? You don't know that. Well, yes I do because we won't be getting anything until you get a hundred. So Yeah, so get a hundred. <laughs> I don't need my not yet. Uh what am I gonna do now? I don't have a use. Um I have this and this, I'm gonna put this away. And then I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'll probably I might end the stream but not your, uh... immediately. But I'll um, I might continue talking while I do some computer work, or maybe I'll do something. All right, so now this is a. Sorry, I've been reading The Great Gatsby this entire time. What'd you say? I've been reading The Great Gatsby this entire time. Because I don't have a big enough container, I put my orange bricks in this pick a brick cup and some yellow bricks in this cup right here. Just because it's, it's just kind of like overflow storage because I really don't have enough. My drawers are all super tiny, so anytime I get like a moderately decent quantity of anything, I always end up having to like store it in pick a brick cups. What? What did you say? You said why? I just said because the tours are too small. I'll try to I'll try to complete this once. I did that as well. Yeah. Yeah, well here's the thing is this is this right here is my biggest drawer. If you look at how big it is compared to my hand. Uh, compared to this um like this is a one by one stud right here. It's not really, it's not really that big a drawer. Um, just, uh, I mean, it's okay for some stuff. I need to find some bigger drawers. Huh? I'm back. I need to get some bigger drawers to be able to store store the stuff of a large quantity of. Bigger cups are pretty frustrating. They they don't really, I mean, they're secure. Like if it. If it it drops it and won't necessarily come open, but that's again the problem too because it's got like that lid, so it um the lid makes it super um hard to like open and stuff. So it's always it's always a little difficult to yeah to open. Very important question. Oh yeah, the wooden ones. The wooden ones are cool. I've never. I think I saw one of them once. What? 
But uh, what? It probably works a little bit better. This one, this is the Lego Ideas one. You probably knew that, but um. Oh. It's amazing. It's amazing. Oh, that one's good. I have a, um, uh, important question. What'd you say? I have the Fangfire Wrecking Ball, right? Yeah. I have a second one, kind of, except not really. I have, like, about a half of a second one. Yeah. Random you could, you could uh, just put it, you could put it, like, somewhere and with the other one and say it's, like, uh, Edna's, uh, No, like, Edna, Edna, like it's not even yeah. worth putting Because it's, like, like, like it's, it's just pieces of it. Yeah, but the point is it's like in the junkyard because it's like all incomplete. Uh, I mean, I guess I could, but like... Because like, the thing I reckon came from the junkyard. junkyard, remember? In the show? Yeah. It used to be a real crane. Yeah. Well, I couldn't build a real crane, kind of. Because most, cause like the whole face is missing. Alright, I completed it, but I cheated because I ended up rolling over this um, ball right here, so that doesn't really, that doesn't really count. Alright, but and this thing goes in right here. You can see on camera two. Oops. Making sure. Let's see. According to YouTube analytics, never mind. I just clicked the wrong button. I'm showing camera two right there. You can see the camera. See the camera two. It's got. Oh yeah, but the other thing is, according to YouTube, my estimated revenue is sixty-three eighty-nine, but. According to AdSense, which is like the actual amount of money that they'll give you, kind of, it's eighty four ninety one. So, whoa! What? Apparently, one of my videos is maybe four ninety nine. According to YouTube analytics, so you know, which take the grain of salt. How to build them? Like. A long time ago. 2014. What is it? It's a video from 2014. How to build a Lego pickup truck. Modification. Like a pickup truck set? Pretty much. It's a slight modification. Like, I changed the hood and a couple other... All things. Let's see, uh... It's pretty much... That's all that I want. Can't beat the masterpiece of the life of a chicken. <laughs> yeah. That's the best one. By far, you know, you can't, you can't compete with the life. I'm trying to find out how much money, according to YouTube, I made per view on that one. Over three months. I made approximately. It's buffering a little bit. Approximately 15 cents per minute. That's not what I think. I think it's. Wait, I did it backwards. I mean, approximately six cents per view Wait, on that video. Wait, stream offline. Oh, hey, guess what? Streamed offline. <laughs> yeah, we back. Okay, here we go. I'm back. All right, and I'm back. What happened? I don't know. And now the stream's offline again. <laughs> Alright, here we go. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Cobra look at you turning down video settings or using a faster encoding preset. Okay, how do I use a faster encoding preset? 
help me. No, um, okay. uh, we'll put video berate. Audio berate. What's a berate? I really feel like I should know that before I start it. You go 4,000 berate. I think that was a bad idea. I think I should go back to 2500. Okay. Can you still hear me? Yes. the advanced settings um, uh, right. right I think this looks like it's is this going good? Huh? Are you listening to It seems like it's online. Uh, I'm not listening to this. You're not listening to the stream because okay. it's buffering a lot? Yes, man. No, uh, I don't think so. Seems fine. I'm kind of like moving my hand around, so we'll see if that runs smoothly. Looking at the thing in the corner, the Ultimate Bricks live stream um, video thing moving by, that looks like it's going good. Yeah. Alright, so I'd say this is working out well. Alright, one second, I'll be right back. Okay. Alright, and I'm back and um, giving some previews. Uh, I know you guys haven't seen some of my high quality reviews yet. Well, I think some my reviews are okay quality, but um, I've been starting a uh, thing where I'm going to be doing higher quality videos. So, like the Milano, so the Milano review, Pizza Truck review, those ones will come out good. I think it'll come out good. Um, and you can make your own opinion once you've seen them, but for future videos, this, I'll be doing a high quality review on this set right here, or just regular review now, because all, all my reviews are going to be better quality now. Anyways, this set, this is the one that I got today. I like that piece right there. The, uh, $15. That one? The what? What? Oh, the welding piece? The welding piece. I don't have any of those. I really wanted to get this Series uh, 11 welder, but I never got them. I have, a series 11. I have a friend who has, like, four Series 11 welders. That was one of the ones I wanted, um, but now he's pretty expensive. And now that they've he's made the welding piece more... Expensive. You sure? Mm -mm. No, I'm not. He's probably not that expensive, but I just don't... I'm I really don't... I'm pretty like sure he's the I really don't like getting um, mini figures. I think this is one of the most common series. But... I don't like getting series mini figures used. I don't know why. I don't like paying a lot extra for mini figures. Yeah, he's like five bucks. So I try not to get not that mini figures like that on um, Bricklink and stuff. I actually got some CMFs. I got the Dog Show Judge for like less than. Um, I got like the series 
the Series 16 Rogue, or not Rogue, but the Cyborg, that Cyborg Lady, for like less than $3. Yeah. Used. Not used. I don't used, know. Like, new, new and complete, just not in the original bag. Um, I don't... I don't, I don't like the cyborg, whatever. Also, they're like the rogue for like $3, and then the dog show judge for $3, so. The dog show judge is nice. The store, so they like, had them like all for a dollar less, which is good. Alright, anyways, this set is the one we'll be doing the review on. I really like it, and I was able to find it at a Walmart for $15. Usually 40 so. It's an old set. That was a good deal. And then the, the other thing I got today was this one, the Ghostbusters Ecto-1 and 2 from the 2016 movie, which I have to keep reminding you about right here. Um, I, don't know, I, I wasn't, I didn't really like the movie at all, this one, didn't think it was a good movie, but, I think what did you say? I haven't seen it. It's not, it's not really good. I want to watch it anyway. If you like the That's original helpful. Ghostbusters, you probably won't like it. And if you didn't like the original Ghostbusters, you still probably won't like it. I'm not expecting to like it. I just want to watch it. Yeah, same, same here. Same. That was what I was thinking. Right. I'm not going to build this right now. I'm going to... I may end up doing like a speed build, kind of, in one of my reviews. Or I think I want to... I'll probably end up building it later. I don't really, uh, I don't know, I'm feeling kind of tired right now. I'm not really feeling super excited to do it. And I know that I probably will be feeling super excited to do it sometime. But, anyways, it's got some cool stuff all around. Like, um, one of the exciting things is these printed, printed pieces right here. These are, um, Actually, really nice pieces. They have to keep reminding you about the uh, the weird uniforms by having <laughs> this uh, what? the the caution stri uh, stripe, with the orange and silver. That's all over their uniforms. Yeah, Kevin has the best uniform. Yeah, he didn't even wear that in the movie. Uh -huh. I don't, Are I'm you sure? Pretty sure. I don't remember. It's like. The best part of the movie probably is duct tape made Ghostbusters uniform. I don't know. I don't remember who made it. It's my favorite part of the set. Does he even have duct tape? Oh yeah, duct tape is the name tape. Yeah, the stripes on his arms are duct tape. No, they're not. They're orange. What? No, they're, they're like orange duct tape. Orange or orange tape. Right. Something about it. Alright, I guess orange duct tape is a thing. Sometimes. Yeah. Alright, so. Exactly what it is. Anyways, it's, it's okay. I, I wouldn't say I like it as much as the, um. Um. As much as the, um. The, the, uh, the classic shape. But I, I can't deny that it's a cool set. I'm not gonna let my, um. Despise for the movie, kind of like ruin the, uh, the set. Because I think the set's okay and the figures are cool. Um, they're slightly accurate. Oh, yeah. Thank you, thank you. Um, the city is. um. I've done some. What do you mean by my old city? Are you watching like, some older videos? I don't think I, have, I haven't done a city update in a while. I'll probably end up doing a uh, city update sometime soon because I've actually done a lot of changes. Um, do it right now. No, I'm not gonna do it right now. I'm not gonna. I might. I mean, I could do it something on stream, but that wouldn't necessarily be. A... Right. You should just drop everything in the stream. Go record a video, a city update right now. Don't change anything. Exactly the way it is. Like if there's random pieces just in the middle of nowhere. Just... Random pieces in the middle of nowhere of a very, very organized city. <laughs> um, yeah, actually yes, but. 
Well, no, you just took a building out, so there would be the random empty space, right? No, no, I took this building out to replace, you know, replace with the firehouse. Oh. Yeah, I actually took this building out a long time ago. It was just kind of like taking up space on my desk because I had no space for it. I've you know, it's been taking up space on my desk. Yeah. But. The Minecraft jungle tree house that I got for like 25 bucks. Oh. Really rather ugly, but. That's a good deal. Is it. You built it? What? You built it? Yeah. Take it? What? I said you built it, I take it? Huh? You built it. It's not just in the box. No, no, I built it, yeah. It's taking up more space than it would have if it was just in a box. Alright, anyway, so. Yeah, I just, I still need to, um. Is it still there? The city? Yeah, this, the is city. Is it still there? City. Uh, yeah, the city's still there. Um, the building isn't still there. The building is 100% taken apart. That's what I was taking apart today. That was that thing I was taking apart. So that's 100% taken apart. And, um... Uh, he, wasn't, he wasn't here at the beginning when you started taking it apart, when it was actually, you know, still building. Yeah, so that's 100% taken apart. I built that a long time ago. I built that when I was, like, I don't know, 12, maybe? <laughs> and so it looks like it was built... I could tell. Too. Um, and didn't really have any, it didn't even have, it didn't have a budget or anything. It was only basically built with the stuff I had. I didn't like, it's not, not like I have the money now to buy a building, but I didn't, um, like order any parts or go to the Lego store or anything, um, like that. <clears throat> it was just built 100% with just parts I had. And I mean, it's really colorful and stuff, but that, I don't know. It's, I still like it, kind of. Anyways, um, yeah, the helicopter. You should talk to Brick by Brick. He hates, he hates helicopters. This is this, he says the cargo pod is better than the helicopter. Um, it's true, though. Well, I, this has awesome pieces. Like, these pieces are really neat. Those ones right there. However. That's better than a helicopter. The helicopter has a really nice like helicopter canopy, helicopter bottom piece, helicopter top back. The helicopter can be lame. It has you the wanna... standard helicopter components. No, if you want to talk about standard helicopter components, talk about my favorite junior set, the Lost Temple with its fancy custom-made helicopter body piece. Um, it's it's. It's like the only. I'm pretty sure that this is the only normal-ish helicopter that I own, which is kind of sad. Can I see it? Are you showing it off? Um, I can throw it on, uh, if I had my webcam out, I could throw it on, but I don't, so like, let's see if I can plug it in. Uh, I, won't, I won't be able to show it on the stream. But, yeah, but, like, I can attempt. Actually, just go to Brickset and Google the Lost Temple, or not Google, but Brickset search Lost Temple. Is it the Ninjago one? That's like thirty dollars. Yeah. Right, I'm not gonna look it up. I can imagine it comes with like that really dumb-looking Jay's dragon. Yeah, that, that's the best part of the set. <laughs> That is by far the worst part of the set. <laughs> I don't know. Debatable. The temple is pretty bad, though. It's not a good sign. When the temple. Just, it's not a good sign when you can't decide what the worst part of the set is, because it's all bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think you know, can, the best part. The best part is the figures. What? The best part is the figures. Well, the figure, period. Like, j just the only reason that this set was worth buying was because it came with that one exclusive snake. For me. Yeah, but it, it already had the other one. It comes with J. But like, the J figure is still acceptable. I mean, well, I mean, so is the Lloyd one, and they're both acceptable. But does like, it come with Lloyd? 
Yeah. Oh, I didn't realize it came with three figures. Um, Lloyd is probably better. Uh, like. I didn't I guess, realize he came with a Lloyd. I guess Jay is. This is one of the cheapest sets Jay. This version of Jay comes in. Because, like, the torso is rebooted, but the helmet is, or the mask is ZX. But, like, um, Rebooted J came in two sets. One of them was the, uh, the Thunder Raider, which was a $30 set, and this is a $30 set. Lloyd, on the other hand, came in a, uh, in, like, a, a what do you call it? Alright, if you want to, um, if anyone, if you want to join the stream, you feel free to, uh, click that link. Alright, um, Brick is busy right now. Yeah, I'm back. Yeah, they, um, dude, it says there's four people watching, which is cool. Yeah. But the only thing about the Lloyd is that the mask hasn't appeared since 2012, so... Because it's the ZX mask. Alright, do you know... Do you see how this works? How the OBS Studios works? Has you, have you used it before? Um, I've tried to use it before, but I failed epically, so... So do you see how this is set up right now? This one right here is... What yes. The, this is what the viewer is seeing, and this is what... This is like the queue. So right now I can set it up to this, and then I can use a fade transition. So right now, now the viewers are seeing that screen. And then when I set it to this, now the viewers are seeing this one. And I'll set this one up here, and now the viewers are seeing this. Okay. And I can also cue the intro. So now... Cue the intro, go. Woo! Yeah. I think that you should either film a city update right now or remove city updates from your intro. Alright. Yeah, well. I don't know. I do city updates, just not recently. Well, more recently. Well, even if I film it now or film it tomorrow, it'll still be like released at the same time. Film it now and release it now. Well, that's the point. Is I want to have um, if I'm gonna have higher quality videos. There has to be some sort of delay. So then don't make it a high quality video. <laughs> Make it the worst video you've ever seen. I've seen some bad videos. I've made some bad videos. Okay. And then Not make this really bad video. Go for it. <laughs> it's totally worth it. No, it's not worth it. Bad videos are not worth it. Alright, 19 minutes ago, Dimensions Vortown Barrier Break Glitch slash Cheat video was released. Another Dimension Glitch? Yeah, I recorded two of them the same day and released them back to back now. Yeah. Oh, the Lego Bunch here? I should make a Lego Mansion. I made a mansion in Lego Worlds. That, uh, I'll need to make a video about that sometime. I made a... Well, I, I made one that's like 20 times bigger than that. No. Yeah. Seriously, like not joking. Like twenty times bigger. Like more than twenty times bigger than that one. I think okay. I I I'm I'm not knowing, but it may be like the largest Lego world creation ever. I doubt it. I don't know, it took like weeks to build. A lot of hours. So I don't I don't know. It's um It's, there's so many windows that they start disappearing because there's too many of them. You should recreate like an actual Lego set in Lego Worlds. Go. There already are some. You can't because there's there's no sideways building in Lego Worlds. 
There's so do it anyway. No, just find a set with no sideways building. There's no studs on the side, and there's also very limited um, things. However, there actually are some sets in LEGO Worlds. I know. There's but I thought you said there was no studs on the side. What'd you say? I thought you said there was no studs on the side. There isn't. However, there's objects. So you can, like, bring in an object, and technically it's yeah, all one thing, but it is, like, studs on the side. However, it can't, like, be taken apart. It's kind of confusing to explain if you haven't played it. All right, Lego Brick is back. Um, anyways, have you seen? You should check out the uh, Vorton Blade Tour. The what? Oh. That one. What, 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 what's the glitch? Describe it to me. It's not a glitch, it's a cheat, but a glitch looks good in this. Um, what is it? I mean, it's it's if you take the hoverboard on the Vorton launcher, then... Oh, yeah, can, I don't... I can't do that. Yeah, I know. I mentioned that it only works on PS4 and uh, Xbox One. Yeah, but it's pretty cool, because you get to, like, fly around all over the Vorton, like, and look... You get to, like, look at the Vorton from the back side. From the back side? Yeah, you get to, like, look at the Vorton from the other side, like, the side you never get to see it from. Actually, it looks pretty cool. Because, you know, like, you never get to see the Vorton from the... from the side you don't uh, see it. Uh, there's probably another way to do this, but, like... I don't know. It used to happen if you went inside the Lego City Undercover. Like before Lego City Undercover Pack came out, if you went inside the portal for it, you'd like appear like halfway out into the portal. Not halfway out, but you'd like appear. That happened? Kind of. With, like if you just walk through the main Vorton computer, it just like teleports you behind it somewhere. Yeah, that's what the Lego City Undercover one was like. So anyways, which video would you like to see you think would should be seen first? Um, like what order would these videos make sense? So like I have Lego Ideas Ghostbusters set review, $140 Brooklyn call, Lego City Pizza Van unboxing speed build and review, Lego Hill slash Mountain Mock, um, Hello Hoth made a fourth unboxing and review and Milano unboxing speed build and review. Milano should go not first because then I have time to upload my Milano thing first and steal all your potential views. Does that mean I should put the Milano first? No, I won't. Um I think I'm gonna probably, I'm definitely gonna do the haul before I do the Ghostbusters set review. Cause I always like to upload the hauls before the reviews. Just so people have, um, cause I think it'd be kind of boring if you like, you see a review and then there's a haul where I get that same set. Because then. Well, what if you buy like. Four sets? Yeah. What if I buy another one of it? 42 specifically, but like, sure. Well then, I don't know. Well, that, that, that'd be fine because just as long as it's, I did the haul on the first one before, you know. And I just think okay. that, that makes the most sense because I think it'd be kind of boring to watch a video. So serious question. To watch a haul. For, if you yeah. bought forty of a set, sure. Would you review it forty-two times? What'd you say? If I got fifty-two of a set, no, of course not. I mean, I've gotten multiple wow. battle packs before, and I've never, like, reviewed them more than once. I, I think you... Whoever well, I reviewed this first order battle pack, like, a long time ago, when I yeah. had, like, 50 subscribers, and it's honestly a pretty low-quality video, so that might be one that I might redo. I think you should buy some set and review it 42 times, and each time make it exactly the same. I just upload the same video 42 times. Do it. No, thanks. Well, actually, I think that would, that would make people leave, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> I gotta keep my channel, like, at, I have to keep my channel at a high standard so that people, like... I suppose. You know, like, Jang Bricks doesn't upload, like, joke videos that are horrible quality. 
I mean, that's true. So like, everybody knows yeah. that when there's it's a really good video, quality video that you upload 42 times, then no one will care. So when the, I just mean like when there's a Jankrich video, everybody knows before they even watch it or even look at it. They, you mean like they know it's gonna be high quality. Yeah. And I don't know. I probably will take a decent amount of work to um, create that for my channel, but I mean. That would be the end goal. I'm not. I don't, I'm not just gonna like throw away my chance of it being high quality for something. No, I think you just need to get to a point where your audience will just will not care, and then you just upload a video 42 times. Hello. I'm not just a bit spam. Hello. Hello. Hey guys, I'm gonna bring you for another Lego Is review. And today we're reviewing a Marvel superhero yep. Guardians of the Galaxy. Oops, I have some have some background audio playing. That was the Milano review. I don't think anybody should ever do that. That'd be a complete waste of time. I don't know. I think it would be mean because people then would expect it to be different. You know, like people might be like, "Oh, this one might be different." Oh, like, what if I say, like, a, so somewhere hidden, I like the hidden annotation thing, where you, like, hide an annotation in between, in, like, five different videos, and the first person to find all five hidden annotations wins. Yeah, so I have these videos that are all the same, and the end cards are different. And the end cards each leave, each lead to 42 different, um, to 42 different private videos. I mean, unlisted videos. And the first person to comment on all 42 unlisted videos wins. Yeah, like I say the URL of that. Go to youtube.com slash watch question mark V equals E F N seven W W underscore C I U O. I just said the I'd have to give away something good though or else no one would want it. I mean, like, even if I gave away, like, this set right here, like, everyone would be like, meh, it's not worth it. <laughs> I just mean, like, I don't even think anyone would... I don't think anyone... I just realized that anyone watching the stream is only hearing my half of the conversation. Because I muted you guys. Oh, sorry. Sorry, guys. Sorry. I must sound like I'm talking to myself now. Okay. I mean, it, it would have made it sound like you were, like, super brilliant, because you came up with hey the scheme all on your own. Hey, guys, I'm doing Lego Ideas set Ghostbusters. <laughs> well, what I, I did is the set number like two, two one videos one in the zero eight, eight contains 508 pieces. Recommended for days 10 and up. In the U.S., the set retail okay. 
for forty nine dollars and ninety nine cents. So now, the six Lego Steam Ideas now set. If you don't know how Lego Ideas works, it explains it on the side of the box. It's about sharing your idea, oh, nice. gathering support, oh. ten thousand votes on so the LegoIdeas.com. Right, then Lego will review it and decide if it is. I just realized I got negative one subscriber today. That's great. Who has negative one subscribers? Me. Today. Somebody subscribed. You lost all your subscribers? Okay. More? Well, let me see. Sometimes Social Blade isn't super accurate. Let me see live counts. No. Oh. Because the Social Blade, like, plus one, minus one thing isn't live. So it says I have 545. Alright. Because I think, and, or at least I, I think that cool legs, or cool kegs123 subscribed. I hope he did. I think he subscribed today. And then I also lost one. So I think that kind of like equaled out. I think that's what happened. Alright, but now. I have all I have all six unlisted videos opened. Alright, and so I have one vote for Pizza Truck. And oh, dang it, stream is offline. Oh, that's the set I meant to get. Okay, the pizza truck. Okay. It's a I heard it's a really good set. Yeah. Unique pieces and it's a pretty cool build. Yeah, so I did a um I heard it's on Walmart's they were unmarked clearance at ten dollars. Aww. Yeah. Wait, are they um sold out now? I don't know. 15. Probably not. It was fifteen at my Walmart today. I bought it for twenty at the Lego store when it came out though. So. But I didn't buy it. You can't get everything, you know. You can't get everything on clearance. I mean Alright, I'm sorry that, um, this is happening. Something I was considering doing that might actually be good for streaming, I'm not sure, but maybe actually, like, attaching, like, an Ethernet cable to my computer. Like, going, like, old-fashioned, like, actually connect it with a cable to the Internet. That might actually make it run faster. I would say yes. Yeah. So... Trust me, the computer networking master. Not really, but I know something like this. So, like, I'm just thinking, I know I don't have, like, the best internet in the world. So. My internet's garbage. I mean, the Wi Fi, not internet, Wi Fi. No, like, like, the internet connection, not even just the Wi Fi. All of it is just absolute garbage in my entire house. Uh -huh. I don't even see the pizza truck on their website. Which website? I think it's called Pizza Van. It's called Pizza Van, yeah. Oh, Pizza, pizza Van, okay. Called... Yeah, I just saw it. Literally kinda... when you said that, I just found it. <laughs> yeah, it's called Pizza Van, not Pizza Truck. But I call it the Pizza Truck too much. I don't know, it's a bad habit. Actually, it doesn't even matter. I mean, uh, you knew what I was saying. I haven't looked at Lego stuff in, like, forever. Seriously. I've been more into computers and stuff like that. Right, I'm gonna stop screen sharing now. Um, because since I'm not doing anything interesting, you guys don't need to see the screen. And you can always see huh? what's on the screen. What about it? You, you can see what's on the screen from the other side. Instead, only one person is watching right now. You know, if not me, because my phone died. I think that means it. Oh, not you? Oh, that's, oh, that's good. So that means that cool kegs might still be watching. <sighs> That'd be awesome. I think that's cool. That little ghost trap thing. I feel like the assembly square would be cool to buy. Yeah. I agree with that good set. I don't have it or anything, but like... If I was ever going to buy a module of the building, that's the one. Yeah, oh, that'll take a lot of work to get. Um, 
I mean, if you're trying to build a sand blue like build, that would have been really good to get. Also with the pet shop, but now they don't have the pet shop anymore, which I I'm very about. I got a pet shop when I had the chance, or for Christmas when I had the chance. I didn't, I didn't get a pet shop because I didn't care. <laughs> I'm glad. I wouldn't give it up for anything in the world. No. Um. um <laughs> Like, I remember a while ago, I was gonna originally get the pet shop, but then I'm like, no, I'm gonna buy Lego Lord of the Rings sets, that's how I roll. Yeah, I love modular And I realized I wanna start. I have all the modular buildings, except the assembly square, going back to Grand Emporium. So I have Grand Emporium to Brick Bank. Which isn't bad, but it's pretty good. It's more than some people, which and I'm grateful for what I have. I look, look with you. All right. Anyway, so my first video um coming up tomorrow will be. A Lego, this Lego hill slash mountain mock oh. that I made. I've seen that. You showed me. I showed you the tiny one, not the big one. Well, they're pretty much the same, right? Not really. Same build, but like the other one's like six times bigger. Probably about. So that. How many of How many one of those? How many of those one by two slopes did you get? Um. Let me think. It's good to estimate numbers. Seven pick a brick cups worth. But how many bricks is that? I don't know. You can imagine a pick a brick cup and imagine seven of them. Filled to the top with. No, but like. Slopes. I have no idea. I don't have a clue. I want you to. I want you to count them. At least a thousand or so. I want you to count them. I want an exact number. At least a thousand five hundred, I think. Something like that. To the nearest tenth of a brick. I don't know exactly how many. Hmm? Yeah, I don't know exactly how many. Um, okay, but that's coming out May 30th at 5 p.m. Eastern Time. Then, the next day, May 31st, video titled $140 Brooklyn Call, Lego Hall number 35, um, 45. <sighs> that comes oh out gosh, I am so tired. May 31st at 5 p.m. And then the next day, um, Pizza Truck Unboxing Speed Build and Review will come out. Alright, well, I'm gonna go see ya. Alright. Bye. Thanks for stopping by. Bye. Yup. I said June 1st at 5 p.m. pizza truck. June 1st, 5 p.m. Then June 2nd. Um, um, Han Solo Hoth Unboxing Review. Won't come out. Second at five PM then 
and third in Ghostbusters Ecto One will um Ecto One and One, not in two. Come out on June third. All right, and then on June fourth at five p.m., Milano unboxing will come out. Give me a review. June fourth. June fourth at five p.m. Greenwich Mean Time. All right, minus, uploading mine right here. The opening hours. All right. Cool pigs back again. I think. Not sure. When he just came back. But it says two watching now. Which is awesome. Thank you. So the two people who are watching, I really appreciate it. Anyways, that is the schedule. June 4th, you said. That's the schedule. Till June 4th. So. Alright. Schedule. So Battle of the Milanos. Watch your favorite one. Don't watch the other one. AKA don't watch Ultimate. What's your favorite? Vote for your favorite channel. Are you gonna schedule that and upload it right now? Already did it's uploaded. So you just schedule it for June fourth at five PM? Yep. Alright. Well, I'll um I guess I'll show it on the stream. Should I? No, I won't show it on the stream. Um, I'll show it to you. I think so you can be intimidated. Um, Alright, that's the thumbnail. Watching Guardian Galaxy 2 on Wednesday. Mine doesn't have a thumbnail. I'm planning, I'm not planning to watch that movie. Alright, so here's what it looks like. Not planning to watch what movie? Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. Huh? Hey guys, I'm Rick here for another Lego oh, review. Like. And today we're reviewing a Marvel Super Heroes Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 Polybag. This is the Milano. Set number 30449, though. containing 64 You're pieces, not going to watch Guardians of the Galaxy 2. 6 to 12. And in the U.S., this set is part of a promotion in early May 2017, where it's free with purchase of $35 or more at the LEGO store or official LEGO shop at home. There was one flaw with Guardians of Galaxy 2. In my opinion, this Milano set looked really nice. I'm really happy that they were able to capture the overall shape and colors of the original model that, the it was movie. absolutely perfect and it also look, would look nice next to the um, full size version right, what do you think of the a few um, the key details box? are perfectly captured this such as the engines the wings but i think you should watch guardians of the galaxy too well i i didn't i never saw the first one so it doesn't matter watch guardians of the galaxy too what do you think of the video it's a good it was pretty nifty, but it was no Guardians of the Galaxy 2. <laughs> no, but compared to yours, how was it? What? Probably better. I didn't put an effort in mine. Right. And mine was kind of like a live actual build because people seem to enjoy that. People, I, I like I actually said. Most people yeah, it took five minutes, shortened down to uh, about ten seconds because I value your time. No. <laughs> okay. Um, Mine's over 10 minutes long, so yeah, that means that. Mine's in 20 awesome. seconds long. Uh, yeah. More is better. All right. Do you want me to upload a raw building footage? I know that's what the that's what streams are for, I guess, right? Because I mean, I feel like I, I wouldn't want to be doing like a. I feel like the best. I wouldn't want to be doing like a live build if I couldn't really be like interacting with the people watching. Yeah. So I think the best part about doing a stream is you can be like interacting with the uh, people watching. Look, you got 30 left. See what it died if you didn't have the uh, 
if 30 left, so you would have died if you hadn't done. I mean, you would have died if you hadn't done the back to bone. Sorry. Um, yeah, I think the best part about doing like live stuff is you get to. Uh, oh, Brickworks Vlogs, welcome back to the stream. Um, this is the uh, this is the hall preview right here. Um, Ghostbusters Ecto One and Two for forty dollars, and this awesome forty dollars fire set for fifteen. That's the hall. Preview. I thought it was a thirty dollar fire set. This this one's forty. Forty. What? You Walmart sure? might have had it listed at thirty and then went on sale. Probably. Uh, but it's pretty good. No, I, I thought. Anyways, for right folks, if you want to join, you can join right here, but you can't join without saying what you think of this, um, of the stream quality, so you can see I can switch camera angles just like that, switch between, and then I can go just camera one, and then I can go just camera two, and I can go... Ultimate, what's that fire set called? I need the actual name. Or the set number. It's called Fire Response Unit. Set number 60108. Alright, anyways, I can like fade to black like that to be cool. And then I can fade to this. Let's do like a super, super long fade of black to this. Oh, you're right. Yeah, I looked it up on Brickset as soon as I got home. I thought it was 30. But when I saw it, I was like, it's so weird. No, no. It's a really bad value. It is a really a, bad value. Uh, but helicopters are overpriced, so. I know. Uh, also, gonna... you know, let, let's just let's go back for a second and uh, just change our opinion to city sets are always overpriced. City sets are always overpriced. Not always. Great vehicles are a good deal. For the most part. Well, like, every one that's over $20 is overpriced. $20 cities that are usually okay. What the heck is what the... Hello? Hello. Welcome. Alright, yeah. so... Hey, what's up? I'm gonna... I'm subscribing to Cool Keegs 123 now. Um... Hey. I just had it because I didn't want to uh, take too much time. Sure. But it's, it's going to be worth it. So, now I have subscribed to you. You should have 17, or unless Brickworld's made that 18. All right. I subscribe with like 12 accounts. Oh, really? Yeah, so he's up there now. I think he started with four. Oh, really? Yeah. So now he's at, he, he said 16 when I subscribed. But you know that YouTube thing never really is uh, too trustworthy. Yeah. Um, Alright, so... Did you see what I said about these sets? You, you've been listening, right? I, I got here like two minutes ago or three. All right, anyways, this, these are what I, I got these both today at Walmart. How much was the Ghostbusters? The Ghostbusters one was forty. It was wow. Yeah, it's usually sixty. Yeah, I got mine for thirty nine, but I'm probably just gonna return it. This one, I'll check the receipt. I think it was like thirty nine fifty eight or something, uh, but basically forty. Let me go yeah. check right now. It was exactly thirty nine seventy three. Nice. Um and I think this, was the same for me. this fire set right here. Yeah. Is usually um, was forty originally. He knows that Walmart for fifteen. Fifteen, nice. Yeah. Fifteen That's on the dot, like fifteen zero zero. So it was like clearly was like a percentage off. Uh, what'd you say? Oop. 
He's gone. Uh, he has bad internet connection. He'll probably... Because <laughs> he didn't say bye, he'll probably be back. Alright. So let me see. Two people watching. How you, have you, um... Oh, go in there because you're party. Oh, cool. It's your birthday? Sounds... It is. And happy birthday. Or if it's someone else's birthday, then... Do a video. You said... Alright. I'm leaving. Brick World is breaking my speakers anyways. <laughs> What? Oh. That's horrible. I don't know, you don't you don't sound too loud to me, you don't sound louder than he is. To me. At least. Mm. It feels weird though. For some reason this uh hangouts call is interesting. Well this is a regular hangouts call, this isn't the stream. Uh. This is what you see, what I'm screen sharing is the stream. <laughs> this is the streaming software. Oh man, I just need five more subscribers to reach your subscriber count. So close. Today's been a good day. What do you mean? I gained 13 subscribers today. So how many more do you need to get to where? Uh, 960 more. Uh -huh. so, super close, but I was saying five more to get to 45, which we're at right now. Whoa. Screenshot. Let me record. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, anyways. Five more to get to 550. I think. What do they do? Brick by brick? Brick by brick? Horrible. What did he say? He said, I can't tell if he's doing that to everything. I just popped in and pounded. His audio's messed up. No, I don't think you're not you're not messing up my audio or anything. You sound perfectly good. Okay. I'm at, I'm at five forty five right now. Yeah. So five more subscribers for me to reach forty five. So we're kind of even. <laughs> yeah. If we go to um let me take this tab right here. Go to um. You can see that right. Socialblade.com. What about Social Blade? Um. I'm going to go to my channel and compare with your two channels and see where we use the social blade oh. compare feature. Oh. If I search on the bricks. And then I'll compare it with Cool Lego twenty three and um Brick Worlds twenty three. <laughs> Sorry brick by brick. I guess it couldn't handle my awesomeness. Did you see that video that I made? The um, the Lego intro. Uh, saw the Lego one, not the combined two. Did you see the thumbnail though? That I think I shared it on Hangouts. Where's the combo? Oh, compare. There it is. Versus Cool Lego 23. <laughs> no longer that name, but somewhere, somehow it stays. Well, once you make a custom URL, you can't change it. Mm, I thought I could change it. You changed yours, I thought. No, we didn't. It's always been all the Oh, you're comparing both of mine? Yeah, I'll just come. Oops. The other just channel's look. dead. Oh. I think there was a space, maybe. Yeah, I think there's a space in between Brick Worlds and Plum. Alright. Wait, now it doesn't exist. Oh, uh, Cool Lego has two L's for Cool and right. Lego. Oh, that's right. And then what about Brick Worlds 23? Is there a space in between the Brick and the World? Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Alright. 
Alright. Cool pigs back. Okay, there we go. Yes, C plus. I'm a plus above you. <laughs> yeah, and then uh, you're a C minus. I, I don't use that account anymore. <laughs> right. My grades are horrible right now, I know. Alright, so here's what happened. Here's the total subscribers. So, this is when I joined Social Blade, or started using Social Blade. I think. Or this is when Social Blade recognized me. Yeah. So they don't have my stats from before that. It's from before wow. I had 200. So, like, I have no idea. It would probably just be, like, can imagine just kind of like a, just a continuation of what it was before. But you had, like, you were growing pretty big from here. Alright, so then, then I'm looking at each other's here. I had a huge drop there. That's crazy. This one right here? What is the drop? That drop? Was... That was the glitch. That was that uh, glitch where like people they could that? subscribe and unsubscribe. It's horrible. And then it would give you like weird things. That was that. Where the live count things were glitched. Okay. Remember that? Yeah. yeah. Actually, lose any subscribers. Just those are the weird things. What happened to you? <laughs> I don't. I, I remember someone did happen to me. I guess. Oh yeah, I think you lost all subscribers. Michael's mind. I'm pretty sure he lost all his subscribers. It was weird. Okay. Anyways, but if we look at the views, again, you're the blue line right here. Ooh. And on the red line. And then, you and I have the, the same spot, and then you shoot up like crazy. That's because this, this this was another glitch, this line right here. What? So you're on a glitch right now? No, I'm not on a glitch. See where we both shoot up and go down? Uh, okay. okay. See where we both go up and down? That was a glitch. Yeah, how'd you lose views right at the beginning, too? I don't get that. It's like I go from... Zero views to eight thousand to zero to eight.